Mm. Oh my gosh. I wish I had a little more pecan in there. Mmm, the pecans are so good. The coconut, don't add any more coconut. Two thirds cup of coconut is perfect. Any more would be too chewy. But the pecans, I wish, maybe I should double the pecans. Mmm, I don't know, not, maybe not double the pecans. But just a couple of tablespoons more, maybe. Mmm. Oh, Joanne says, okay, I didn't see the recipe when you made the crust. Go over to, um, go over to our Facebook group, Plant-Based Recipe Hoarders. If you're not a member, it's public, it's a public site. Go over there, let me find it. It is, just a second. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I'm not logged in here. Hold on just a second. Uh, let me log into my Facebook. Uh, oh gosh, now I gotta remember my password. Dang it. Uh, is that it? Nope, that's not it. Dang it. Hold on. Is it this one? Nope, that's not it either. All right. Okay, one more. Let's see. It's, maybe it's this one. Wait. Yes! I got it! I got it! I'm in! I'm in! I'm in! Hey, where'd you go? Wait, hold on. Okay. All right, I've gone over to plant-based recipe hoarders. Um... Oh, it got pushed down. Hold on. I'm going to pin it and make it go to the top. Okay, I've pinned the post. It's right at the top. Everybody will see it. It's called Mima's German Chocolate Pie Recipe Gone to the Plant Side from Jill's Saturday Morning Live Cooking Show on YouTube. It's a PDF. There's not a picture. It's just the straight up recipe and you can download it right there from the group. Bom, bom, bom. And uh, in that, excuse me, you can look at it. You don't have to download it. Oh, no, when you tap on it, it automatically downloads to your computer. So if you're on your phone, you'll have to wait till you get your laptop, unless you have some app that allows you to see PDFs on your phone. Don't ask me about that stuff. I have no idea. I do not have that technology myself. Okay, and then when you look at it, there is everything that I just showed you with the filling. Yeah, and the, and I called it quick oak date crust. And the crust that I showed you is in there too. It's all there. Yay! Mmm. Oh, I got some coconut stuck in my teeth. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy. The only way I can get it out is to eat more chocolate pie. Mmm. It seems a sin to talk while I chew this. Oh, Y'all, it makes me miss my Mima. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's okay, Annette. Annette says she's trying to put the URL here, but it won't let me. That's all right. Everybody just go over to Facebook. Mmm. Let's talk. You got any questions about Thanksgiving? It's coming up. Isn't it next Thursday? I'm all off now. I'll tell you. After we got done with the show last week, uh, we got the kitchen cleaned up. My family was so sweet. They got all the they got all the kitchen cleaned up. And then after that I just went and got on the couch and I grabbed my blankie. I put on my pajamas and I turned on Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. I did. Not not the kids, me. And I watched Charlie Brown's Thanksgiving. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm done. And since then, 
I'm ready. I'm like, th you know, I feel like I'm three weeks ahead in the holiday season. I'm ready for Christmas. I'm ready to start, you know, hanging up the Christmas lights. I am, I'm ready to go. I even made a little Christmas shirt. <gasps> okay, here come the questions. I see them. I see them. Okay. Joanne says, I don't have condensed soy milk here and cannot drink it. Suggestions. Um, hmm. Let's see. What would I use? Can you drink any milk, Joanne? It's thick milk. Um, you know, you're basically, we're just making a ganache. When you're melting that chocolate with the sugar, that's all it is. It's just a really watery ganache. So, um, do you drink, uh, of course, it's really thick. I would, um, I'm trying to think. It's really, really thick, though. You could probably try, um, like, making a custard. Have you ever, have you ever, I'd have to look into that, but have you ever tried adding, like, chickpea flour to a nut milk to make French toast? Have you ever done anything like that? And you make the, you're making the milk thick with the chickpea flour and uh, kind of like a, you know, like a batter. And that, I bet that would work. It would, it would be, uh, it would thicken the milk and then it would also help make the, the pudding solid or the chocolate solid okay Karen says where do you get the replacer eggs okay I found the energy egg replacer and I, there's another product that I have uh, in, here in the pantry called uh, follow your heart vegan egg and both of those I had to go to a foodie mart to get so now, the Energy Egg Replacer, I think that's becoming more common. I bet I can find that at my regular grocery store because, you know, replacing eggs in our, bake, in our baking is really not a, uh, an idea that is exclusive to people that are vegan or plant-based. I mean, there, there are a lot of people, you know, it's gone on for years and years, that people that just don't or cannot use eggs in their baking. So there are egg replacements out there. Uh, the, the products that I used, Energy Egg, I got those at Central Market, but I bet you can find them, which is a, I know that's a special grocery store here in the South. Uh, I bet you can find it at Whole Foods or a natural food store. But I would try your local grocery store first. Look, um, look where you can find dry egg replacements uh, powders on the baking aisle of your grocery store. Go there first. If you don't see anything, go over to Whole Foods. Uh, if you have a Trader Joe's, I bet they have an egg replacer. I don't shop Trader Joe's, but I bet they have it. Uh, IRC, ICR says, wait, evaporated milk? Evaporated soy milk. That's what I used here. Did I say condensed? Yeah, yeah, evaporated. Okay, so I said evaporated milk. I need to change that. Oops, sorry. Okay, in the okay, if y'all have downloaded the PDF, hold on, I gotta take that off. Hold on, upload a revision. Just a second, I'm gonna fix that right now. I am gonna fix that right now. Hold on, just a second. I didn't mean to do that. I'm taking for granted that y'all know that I mean a plant-based evaporated milk and I know and, th and that's just between you and me but not everybody's going to know that and they're going to freak out that I suggested evaporated milk <gasps> hold on I gotta find the recipe there it is just a second I gotta say evaporated soy milk okay there we go anything else did I did I take any let me go ahead and say organic sugar, because that's what I used, organic sugar. Anything else did I, no, I didn't. Okay, I'm good. You know how it is, you get used, I get used to everybody knowing what I'm talking about. And so I shortcut, 
and I say milk instead of soy milk, and I'll say chicken broth when I figure everybody knows that I mean no chicken broth. Okay, I'm updating. Upload a new version. Hold on just a second. Choose. Working on it. Hold on, hold on. Where did it go? Downloads. Oh, crud. This is not my computer. Hold on just a minute. I'm looking for it. Come on. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. With corrections. Bam. Is it working? Is it working? Okay, now I'm going to pin this one to the top. Pin to the post. Did that work? Sorry, hold on. Let me just delete that. First post. Edit. You better let me edit. All right, let me start all over. I'm sorry. Okay, hold on. Copy, and then where's the file part? Um, shoot. File, leave. This is so painful. Upload a file. Copy. Choose file. This is so painful. Is it? There it is. This is what it looks like to be a tuber. Real exciting stuff. Okay, there it is. Hold on. All right, I'm done. There, I, I've got it. I got it. Okay, now, now you can go to the top of plant-based recipe orders, and the corrected recipe is there. Oh my God. Pat says, I can't wait to try this pie. I can use up my energy egg replacer too. There you go. It makes a lot. They give you a lot in that bag. All right, let's go to the, some more questions. I'm ready. I see it. I see you, Brand. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go back up here. Okay, Plant Eater says, you think the date, date crust is going to be better than the graham cracker? I think it's going to be a tie. Um, I did not, I don't know. Quite honestly, here, let me just eat it. You know, I think what's tripping me up is that when I processed this first, this graham cracker, I got, I, I processed the rolled oats really well. And I got them really, I got them down to a, to a, um, flat, more of a flour consistency. And then I added the, the graham oat flour. And what else did I do? Oh, I added, uh, almond butter. I was pretty much, I was pretty much following the um i was combining that that crumble recipe from the cranberry apple crumble recipe remember that i was kind of putting the that together with this date crust recipe i was kind of following like I, I borrowed the fat idea 
but I used the ratios of oats and, and flour from the crumble. And then uh, when I added the warmed almond butter, uh, I still needed to add like some water to bring it together. And I think I gave it a little splash of, I might have given it a splash of, of maple syrup because there's no dates in it. There's nothing to make this sweet. Pretty good. I think the other crust is going to be sweeter. For sure. But this feels more like a pie crust. You know, pie crust isn't sweet. And it's got a nice crunch to it. So, let me make this... I need to make this pie crust again. I'll tell you what I did. I mean, I'll write down what I did after this show. And I'll pass it to you. I'll just post it down here under the video when the comments come on. And, uh... And I'll let you know it's there. And then you can play with it too. Because I know you like to play with food. Okay, Apple's asking a ra random question. Jill, are your walls painted Benjamin Moore's Wales Green? No. Oh. Um, it's some Olympic... I think it's lime. It's actually called lime. I don't know what my color is. Huh? I'll tell you. I got the I got the card for it still. Let me see. Maybe? Oh no, I don't. I threw out the card. Sorry, it's a mystery. I'd have to go out to the garage and find it. Okay. ICR, she says, I guess I've never seen the soy. I've never noticed it before. But then, you know, I, I don't know if it's brand new or not. And I'm just tickled pink that I found it at my regular grocery store. So, um, and it was in the baking section. It's right, it was right there with the condensed milks and the evaporated, you know, the cans of evaporated milk and condensed milk and all this stuff. It was right there, right along with it. So, um, I was just tickled to see it, and I can't believe that I even, uh, I actually saw them at the store weeks ago, and, um, I was tickled to see them then, so when, when, uh, when this person sent me an email to say how, you know, asked me if I would veganize this recipe, I knew that I could, because I had seen, you know, I had seen the soy milk stuff at the store already. But they had both. Uh, the Hanukkah said, I think coconut milk would be great. Yeah, it would, of course, it'd make it a lot higher in fat, but, you know, might give it a little more coconut flavor. You'd have like an, all, not an almond, but, well, kind of like an almond joy. A mounds pie. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, Apple369 is suggesting to Joanne that she simmer some rice milk for an hour or soy milk to reduce it. Yeah, I have read recipes like that where you can make your own evaporated nut milks. I've just never tried it. I don't have that kind of patience. Uh, Pat Zeke is asking, would a cashew cream work? Um, yeah. It would work, but I'm I'm afraid it might make your it might take make things taste cheesy. Hold on, I gotta get that pie out of the oven. Hold on. Look at my pie. See, there's a little dip in the center, but I promise 30 minutes is long enough. 
Okay, and there's that oat nut, that quick oat day crust. Okay, and see how puffy it is? Now that'll go down once you once it chills and it cools. You can put it up in the freezer if you want to. Um, this will flatten out and it'll look like that other pie. So there's definitely a difference. I'm not going to try to hold the pie side. Wait, maybe I can. Huh. Okay, so see how it's, this one was in the refrigerator. I mean in the freezer. See how it flattened out? But when I pulled it out of the oven, it was raised like that. So it will go down. Look at that. Almost identical crust. Okay, I'm going to get this one out of my hand. But there you go. There's the there's our pie. You can make this this afternoon if you can find that evaporated soy milk. I bet you got everything else in your, your pantry already. Okay. Hey. Hey. The sun is sunning on my face. of the pie but I will play the video back <gasps> yay I love that we can that that YouTube sends the video right into starts processing it makes it a regular video Ivy says there is a plant-based evaporated milk on Google there you go yeah I don't know of any other brands I brand new here this is a for me this is a, a kind of a brand new ingredient I don't know how many other brands are out there. And this one was an HEB. This is actually, I mean, you saw the carton. It was my grocery store's generic brand of evaporated milk. So, I mean, how, how much more common can it be? You know what I'm saying? It's like really trippy. Oh, Jackie says she, she, you can find energy egg uh, at the at the grocery store. Yeah, I, I have no doubt that it's probably always been there. We just never noticed. Rollum's asking, what do you think of Freely the Banana Girl? I am not going to put my toe there. No, thank you. Uh, Tara says, I can hear angels singing when you hold those pies up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, man. I'm going to have me another piece. Mmm. This is so good. I'll probably spend my day eating on this pie. Just to be honest with you, I'm going to have one now. I'm having this one now. I'll have another slice after I eat a decent lunch. I'll have another slice tonight after I have a good dinner. I'll be a good girl with my main meals <laughs> so I can enjoy this pie. Tara says my walnut, I'm sorry my walnut, <laughs> my walnut has started carrying nutritional yeast. I couldn't believe it. Changes are happening. Yeah! <sighs> oh, thank you plant eater. Mmm, I try. Mmm. Mmm. Natty says, where's the fam? Maggie. I think she's in there drawing. Charlie is up in the bed. Chillaxing. And, um, Max is probably upstairs gaming or writing. They haven't come down yet. They're not big fans of coconut. So, um, but they are big fans of chocolate and nuts. 
So I, I know that Charlie will appreciate this pie. I don't know if Max is going to like the texture too much. Shall I make them come down and try some? Hmm. Robin says, do you ever track your nutritional intake? Yeah, when I look at my flabby butt and my flabby thighs. And I'm like, yep, I'm good. I'm getting enough. Getting more than plenty. <laughs> Truly. I don't, I don't worry about that kind of stuff. What I focus on is, um, what I focus on is just making sure that I'm eating a little bit of everything. And, um, and this is probably just old ways of thinking, but, you know, being a woman, I was brought up to watch my iron intake and, um, you know, watch my calcium intake and stuff like that, but... I've never paid attention to my protein intake or anything like that, but, uh, so I do try to, you know, I try to make sure that I get enough greens in my diet, and well, oftentimes I fail, because I don't get that, I don't get as much greens in my diet as I should, I know that much, but, um, I do try to pay attention to how much greens I'm eating, how much fiber I'm getting in, I try to pay attention to, um, uh, I try to pay attention to my starches because I know that when I eat starchy foods, I stay full and I won't snack or I won't make bad food choices. So, so I try to always make sure that I'm eating enough potatoes or I eat enough rice or if we have, if it's pasta night, I, you know, I'll make up whole wheat pasta and I'll make sure that there's enough pasta and greens uh, or something like that. You know, so I'm, I pay attention to those things. Um, but I, I'm not like counting my B12 or anything like that. I have some B12 chewable tablets up in my pantry that on occasion I'll think about popping one in my mouth and, you know, I'll chew on one. But um, we're pretty healthy and I don't, I don't ever feel sick. I, I don't get sick. So uh, I get, you know, allergies. Allergies kind of affect me here in Texas, but, but, um, I haven't been sick in ages. I mean, I, it's it's amazing, and I haven't had any colds or anything like that. Not, nothing cootie related. So I feel like I have a pretty strong immune system. Um, but, yeah, I just don't worry about it. I just focus on making sure that I've got enough starch. I'm eating enough fiber. I'm eating enough greens. You know, being older, too, you know, I just want to make sure everything runs smoothly. So eating a lot of greens helps that. And I like eating a lot of fiber because I've read, you know, that fiber helps flush out the hormones, you know, that are kind of, kind of get clogged up in our system. You know, our system gets kind of congested with all that. So as someone who is aging, I want to make sure that I don't get all toxic with hormones. And so I try to eat a lot of fiber, you know, try to eat as much salad as I can think to make. Oh, yes, make them come down. Okay, hold on. Hey, Charlie, Max! Jackie says, I'm not a super fan of coconut either, but I want that pie. You know, you could leave it out. It's not, to me, I feel like the, the I can't taste any coconut, but I just taste the texture. Will you come try this pie? All right. Son. Right here. Okay. Um, you want that part right there. There you go. You want more chocolate than you want crust. I know him. He's a chocolate man. Mm. That's good. Does it have nuts in it? It has a little bit of pecans and coconut flakes. So that's the texture. If you feel like some gritty, mm -hmm. that's coconut flakes. And then every now and then you hit on a... That's really good. Oh, you like it? Mm. <laughs> There's two of them. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And do it before and after. Yeah. Like, good. You like that? Mm -hmm. Yay! I don't know where your father is. I mean, he's probably still up in the bed. Yep. All right. That's all the chocolate you can have. The rest of it's mine. All right. Just kidding. Well, I haven't had breakfast, so. Yeah. School. And I have pie. <gasps> Roll them.
I absolutely love Miranda. <laughs> I love Miranda. I love Colleen Ballinger. She is... She inspires me to be creative. And she reminds me that it's okay to be ugly. And it's great to be goofy. I've already watched... Did you watch um, her on Netflix? Did you watch her show, Haters Back Off? I just finished it off the other night. Wow. That last episode, I was actually crying. I couldn't believe it. I was totally floored that she had me crying. So, um, anyways, I am a big fan of Miranda Singh. So, yeah, there's moments where I, like, I copy her or I copy something. I say something in a way that she would say it, but... I really, uh, I really like her. <sighs> Jackie says his t-shirt is nothing compared to what he could be doing. Yes, that is correct. That's true. See, that's why I'm just letting it out. Hey, Maggie Moo, Hi. would you like to try some of this pie? What kind of pie is it? It's chocolate pie. No, I'm good. Yeah, Maggie doesn't like chocolate. I mean, she's no. not... I don't like dark chocolate. Yeah, she doesn't like dark chocolate. And she's got a little bit of a sore throat. She picked up a cootie from, uh, from her father. Yeah. Charlie went to a... He went to a little college coffee house earlier uh, this week. And, or last week or something. No, it was last Friday. He hung out in a college coffee shop. And, uh, and he's... he's and then he came home like 24 hours later, he had a scratchy throat. And of course he kissed on all of us, but Maggie's the only one that, um... I got the most sugars. <laughs> yeah, Maggie got more sugars than the rest of us, and so now she's got a scratchy throat. I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh, Ron says she doesn't have Netflix, she needs to see it somehow. <gasps> oh! Get Netflix. Yeah! Oh, we love Netflix. That's our cable. Yeah, I'm gonna have another piece of pie. Just a little sliver. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of some more pie for me. Y'all, I know it's time to go. It is 11.30. We have been on. Ugh. Okay, this crust is still hard to get out. We have been on for an hour and a half. I think it's time for us to get on with our day and go do stuff. Be productive. Do things for our family. Next week, um, I'm working on something new. I'm not sure. I can't promise that I'm actually going to be ready to do it next Saturday. But I do have a new idea for these, um, for these Saturday mornings. Oh, I see a question mark. Hold on. Bren asks, Jill, I need a mozzarella cheese recipe. Do you have one? Um, no, I like to use, I mean, I don't have one personally, but I like to use um, Miyoko Shinner's mozzarella cheese recipe. If you Google it, you'll probably get, you'll get, um, You'll probably get her Miyoko's Artisan Kitchen. You'll get her cheese brand. You know, she makes her own cheese now, at, you know, in San Francisco. And she makes nut-based cheeses. So you'll get Miyoko's Kitchen links. But if you look between all that, there should be Miyoko's Mozzarella Cheese Recipe somewhere in there. Some, somewhere somebody's got it on their blog. And uh, you can make it there. Oh, Annette's got it. Check out Miyoko Shinner's video for that here on YouTube. See, it's not a private recipe. There you go. Miyoko, I'll show you how to make it. And it is a good mozzarella cheese. I have tasted it. I went to a, a cooking demo of hers, and she showed how to make that mozzarella cheese, and then we got to eat it on a... What she made? She made a... I think she made some text... She actually used it for a Tex-Mex recipe or something. Some kind of casserole. It was good. 
Oh, yeah, there's another one for, for you, Bren. Okay, Sold on Him says, As soon as you feel a sore throat coming on, gargle with apple cider vinegar. Like Maggie would do that. <laughs> she's not going to do that. <laughs> It'd be funny to watch, but she's not going to do that. I don't think I could get... You, I don't think we'd be able to get the vinegar up to her nose, you know. I mean, it would never, like, make it past her lips. She'd smell that, and she'd be like, no. Nope. Um, I do know what, what help, has helped us in the past. I read this in an uh, Indian cookbook, and it's uh, to put ginger, a piece, of, a piece of ginger and a slice of lemon in hot water and just let it steep. And not you don't even have to use a whole piece of ginger. You can actually just... Um, like to your cup of hot water, just use a microplane to grate fresh ginger right into your cup and then get a slice of lemon and drop that in there and then just let that steep and then sip on that. Oh my gosh, that feels so good to your sinuses and it'll soothe your throat and you can drink it all day long. It's really nice. Rollum says, how long have you been High carb, low fat. I would. I've, I've never been low fat. I, I evidenced by my jiggly arms. Um, <laughs> I have been plant based for five years. My, our whole family, the hu husband and kids, we, we turned plant based Thanksgiving 2011. Y'all are talking about gargles now, Maggie. They say you should gargle some apple cider vinegar. No. I don't know what that is. What is that? <sighs> She's like, no, nope, I'm not doing it. Oh, somebody's eating. Who is this? It's Steve. It's Steve. I don't know how to say your name. It's Steve. Steve. I'm eating chocolate banana ice cream watching this, but I wish I had that pie. <laughs> it's good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It's so good. It is so, so good. Y'all, right now, I am a little kid. I am a little kid staring at that card table, poking at that German pecan pie, German chocolate, not pecan pie, that German chocolate pie. I can see the poinsettia tablecloth that she has over it. My grandmother smoked. So, I, you know, the house is warm. And it kind of smells like cigarette smokes. But she smoked menthol cigarettes. So it kind of smelled sweet. Isn't that weird? That's weird, isn't it? Anyways. And the TV's on. And she is bustling around in her tiny little kitchen. And I'm staying out of the way. Staring at those pies. And there's fudge on that table too. There's a pecan pie. There's the German chocolate pie. There's a pan of fudge that she made. And I loved the fudge. It was always so rich. I could never eat the I could never eat like more than one piece. She made it so rich. But it was so good. And she used she would use pecans in it too. Hmm. Sweet. Okay, I need to let y'all go. Y'all, it is eleven thirty-eight. This is going on and on. Um Okay. If there's anything y'all need this week, holler. If you have any questions, you're trying to find a recipe or something like that, just reach out to me. Uh, find me on Facebook. Find me on Twitter. You can leave comments here under this video. You can leave a comment anywhere on any video here on YouTube. I will read it. I read all my comments. I don't read them every day, but I check on them as much as I can. If you're asking me a question, I will answer it. So, um, but anyways, if y'all get stumped with your Thanksgiving holiday recipes, let me know. Um, 
I'll be online Monday through Friday. I'll help you find recipes or whatever, help you search or whatever. Um, if you haven't, I highly advise, recommend that you download my newest PDF, my newest cookbook. It's called Jill's Plant-Based Thanksgiving Recipes 2016. You can find it on my website, simpledailyrecipes.com forward slash bookshop. You can also find it on Amazon in Kindle version, and you can find it on iTunes in the, for iBooks. I got it all three formats so that you can download it any old way that you like to download your cookbooks. So please uh, um, go check that out. There's plenty of delicious family tested and approved holiday recipes in there that I've been making for years. So they should help you out, take the stress off. Ellis, oh, Ellis Smith says, I'm a new subscriber. Just love your recipes and your wonderful zest for life. Greetings from Ireland. It's now 5.30 p.m. Saturday night. Oh, thank you. It's nice to see you. Ivy, room, I'm in England. It's been raining. Oh. Sharon says, any chance you're coming to the New Bronzeville potluck tonight? No, I'm staying in. I was going to come, but something's come up, so uh, I'm not going to be able to make that. But hopefully I'll be able to do something after the new year. <laughs> I'm like, Fruity Foodie's just now coming on. Oh my gosh. Hey, somebody's found some neighbors here. I love it. <laughs> Eva Lena says, I'm still waiting for the Kindle version. It is available. Excuse me. My... Thanks, plant-based Thanksgiving cookbook is on Kindle right now. It's right there. Go look it up. Go to Amazon Kindle. Look up Jill's Plant-Based Thanksgiving Recipes 2016. It will come up. Bum, 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 bum. Look at there. See, Jackie got hers and Shelly got hers. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, that kind of out. Sorry, I misunderstood. Okay, I'm going to finish this pie. I love you, ladies and gentlemen, from wherever you are. Thank you so much for being on with me and making this so much fun. I really love shooting these live videos. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite way to make videos. All right, I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all have a great week. Holler if you need anything. And um, that's it. That's all I'm thinking of. All right, I'm going to go turn off the the camera from the computer. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye. <gasps> Sharon's going to order it now. Yes, Fruity Booty's got hers. Yes, Joanne downloaded hers. Yes, yes, friends in California. Yes, yes, yes. I need to get things started in my kitchen. Yeah, you do. Natty, thanks, Jill. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you. Fruity Booty says bye. Awesome, Shelly. No, why am I always late getting here and not seeing enough of you? You gotta start it over. God bless, Joanne. God bless you all. Pat says, have an awesome week, Jill. I look forward to Saturday mornings together. Yes, me too. Bye, Ellis. I'm glad you got to catch me online. Thank you for subscribing. Bye, Rollum. Bye, Apple. Okay, now I'm turning off the camera.